All right, guys, welcome back to art class. Today, we will be learning about an Italian artist named Sofonisiva Anguissola. She lived from 1532 to 1625 and was born in Italy, but spent much of her career in Spain. So here's a map of Europe. Italy is in green here. That's where Sofonisiva was born. And um, this is Spain in orange, and that is where she spent most of her career. Sofonisiba Anguissola was born into an arist aristocratic family and received a very good education. Her extraordinary artistic talent gave her the opportunity to succeed in a male-dominated profession. Her lifelike portraits secured her an appointment at the Spanish court. Her paintings range from formal studies of Spanish royalty to charming paintings of everyday life, such as her earlier pieces in which her sisters provided the models. So you can see in this example, these are three of her sisters and they are playing chess. So it's a very um, common everyday thing and um, she's using her sisters as the models. Sofonisiba established a new style of portraiture with subjects set in informal ways, such as playing chess or holding animals. She served the Spanish court as a court painter and enjoyed a long and successful career. She was praised by many of her fellow artists, including the master of portraiture, Anthony Van Dyke. Sofonisiba herself once said, Life is full of surprises. I try to capture these precious moments with wide eyes. So here are a couple questions about Sofa Nesiba. And if you have the opportunity to make a choice, pause the video and make a choice. Sofa Nesiba was born in Italy, but which country did she spend most of her career? Spain or the United States? Okay, if you said Spain, you would be correct. Great job. Who were the models for her earlier paintings? Celebrities or her sisters? All right, if you said her sisters, great job. So now let's view a demo on how to create art like Sofa Nesiba and Guasola. Here is your instruction page with the materials and instructions. Come back to this part of the video after you see the demo so you can uh, review what's needed and if you need a refresher on how to complete the project. Now that you've learned all about Sofa Nesiva and Guasola, you are going to do a project based on her artwork. So this is a coloring page based off of one of her self portraits that she did. And what you're going to do is you're going to color this in using crayons, markers, or colored pencils. I'm going to use uh, colored pencils today. And then you're going to choose an object from a magazine. So you're going to flip through a couple magazines that you have and find something that you want to cut out and you're going to put it in Sofa Nesiva's hand. So here she's holding a book. All right, so you're going to cut out an object to put that in her hand. And remember the quote from Sofa Nesiba was, life is full of surprises. I try to capture these precious moments with wide eyes. So you can put something kind of surprising in her hand um, if you want to. And um, you'll have to just cut it out and glue it on there, um, you know, using a glue stick. All right, so that's the project. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete that now so you can see what it's gonna look like when it's all done.
Okay, you guys, so there is the completed project. Um, you can see I colored in the self-portrait of Sofa Nasiba, and then I looked through my magazine and I found this picture of this cool looking fish, this colorful fish, and I decided that would be pretty surprising if Sofa Nasiba was just in a portrait holding a fish. Um, so it can be kind of silly too. That's okay. Um, so great job, you guys. I really hope you liked, liked doing this project and I'll see you next time.